What's up everyone? I'm Max. This is my channel group for MVP. This is my friend Reese. Uh, He's gonna throw the cast net on these greenbacks right now. There's some on the deck. Alright, let's throw the net. Throwing the cast net. Open it up okay. It's a little tangled. But here's the bait on the finder. And I don't know if you can see, but there's tons of greenbacks around out here. We're catching bait. We're gonna go offshore, target some hogfish, mangoes, maybe some tuna, we'll see. But make sure to stay tuned. All right, let's see these green bags. He got some again. Not a ton again. Here's Reese's gag. Just caught. We're at a new spot actually on strike lines decided to go to some new areas that i've never fished before found this good looking ledge on strike lines and it is producing so far we're gonna go even further out here hold it up well there goes reese's gag but we're gonna keep exploring and keep looking reese just jigged his jig <laughs> and a yeah. gag hit it we're pretty sure it's a gag. He's right there. Yeah, it looks like another gag to me. Yeah, that's a nice one. He hit it on the jig. Another gag. This is a spot we've never fished before. Another decent gag. Yeah. Hit the jig. Maybe a live bait? Drop a livey down? Got a hog, he didn't even start fighting till caught him up. That's a keeper hog. Interesting. First keeper hog of the day. Probably around 14 inches. But no, probably 15, 16. But he didn't fight till I got him all the way up. I'll get a quick measurement on him. 16 inch hog and i'll show you what i was using for bait but good one look at that big mouth pretty purple colors right there let's get them in the box and all i was doing is the bite was kind of slow i just put on a little little piece of shrimp and it just kept getting bit over and over again like i'll even drop nah it's a little small but all I use is a little shrimp. And let's say you have it like this. You just thread it on the hook, hide the uh, jig like that. Just drop it down. It's close to the surface. It's an RG. Just down deep, it looks potential. There it is. Uh-oh. Jagger hog. That's where I put this one at. Come on, please be a hog. Uh-oh, I'm looking at him. Still, looks like. Still can't tell, but... Strike lines charts, what is it? Oh, strike lines charts? Really? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. <laughs> That's a nice one. I know. Wow. Oh, gotta be big, careful. It's a big fish. Oh, that's a big hog new spot that we've never been to look at that beautiful hogfish thanks to strike lines charts I'm very impressed Ooh. gonna get this one in the box here's that hogfish 18 inches solid fish big male as you can see by the snout and the big mouth Beautiful patterns on it. Let's get it in the box. 
So all of these hogs, you let it hit the bottom. Once it's on bottom, you let it stay in the sand and you'll feel it's like a lightest little tap. So I'm on bottom now and I'm just feeling. I have my rod like this. And I'm looking for the rod tip to just go boop, one little tap. Waiting, waiting. Little tap, tap there. And then you want to lift the rod and it'll be big dead weight. You don't get bit in a few seconds, just reel it up. Probably took your bait. So now I concealed my hook in the hog ball. Three fourth ounce. Let it sink down. What does that feel like? Nah, that, that right there. That. Reese has a hog. Yeah. It just did the, what they're known for, the death spiral, I call it. Yeah. And he's doing it right now. They kind of like spin in a circle down there, like a tuna wheel. Yeah. Still doing it. Might be a decent sized one. Oh yeah, it's a hog. Ooh, nice one. Ooh, ooh, made, made some noises. But solid hog, right there. Oh, I I got something too. I might have a hog too. Ooh, spit the hook. But I just lost a hog, Grease just caught a hog. Now look at that shrimp. Ooh. If I was in the middle grounds, I'd use them whole. But the head of this shrimp, eight pound hog, I'd say, it's gonna get. Like, look at just the head of that thing. So, gonna hook it on. Break off a little, you know, they have the little spike. Don't give the hog an excuse not to bite. He hit it three times, which is a telltale sign of a hog. Because if it only hits it once, it's like a grunt or porgy. Oh yeah, it's fighting good. Ooh. Three good hits in a row. Looks like he has his mouth open. Ooh, that's a good one. This is a worthy one. It was slow for a second, but then another hog came through. Solid, big hog. Exactly what you want. Nice, solid, healthy male hogfish. Will be great for dinner. And as you see, that hog ball is perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Pink color. I always find the pink color catches them the best. But let's get this guy in the box. So we're back with the strike lines charts. I found another little area that I think looks good as you can see. Never been out here as you can see by the tracks. So I'm gonna search around. All you do is I go triple split, side scan down, and then uh, the map. So I can go over all that good looking rock right there. See if something will show up right here. This is, I'll show you what bottom we look for when we're out here. So as you see, I just went over that and that's a ledge. You see how it drops off and on the side scan. But like, look at that. This is a spot never been to. Double looking ledge kind of deal. Should be good, should have some nice hogs, grouper. 
So let's get anchored up and let's start fishing. But this is what Strike Lines charts 3 deep Tampa Bay can do for you. Got a fish on and it feels right. We just fished two epic looking ledges and wasn't much on them, honestly. Came over to this spot, which is marked, but it's not, it doesn't show like that epic. But I saw some little blue dots on the screen, which remind me of hogs. Reeling up this fish. Oh yeah. Another big hog. If this is a big female, that means that there's... <laughs> that means that there's a mega male around. Here's that hogfish, another good one. Actually, it's a male. It's like... It's a transitioner. But that means that there should be another big male. Another keeper hog. Using strike lines charts. Solid one. Man, that's weird. The non epic spots have the hogs. So weird though. Like we were on, you saw that ledge I showed you. That looked epic. This spot doesn't compare, but it is a ledge. It's a three, four foot ledge. Actually, like a five foot. So I'm just feeling for that bite. And it's just the lightest little tap that you ever get. And then you lift up and it's big dead weight and then they start going circles. That's when you know it's the hog. And that's what that one did. Uh oh. Live on camera? <laughs> it's it has potential. I don't know if it's a keeper hog. It's that or a porgy. But it has a dead weight like a red grouper, so we'll see. Or it might just be a decent hog. Not a red grouper. Alright. Let's get him back in. Here is our catch of the hogfish. We got six hogs. These ones were all big males. And then we got a transitioning one and then a female. And then two nice mangoes. We also caught those other big mangoes, just let them go. But these are some nice quality hogs.